Hi, hello, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Alexi, and on my channel, I like to teach you all the things that I do in my life that help me live a happier and healthier lifestyle. Today, I am going to be taking you through another full day of eating with me. If you like full day of eating videos, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post videos every single Monday teaching you how to live a happier and healthier lifestyle. So if you wanna see what a full day of eating currently looks for me right now, then keep on watching this video and you're gonna find out what a full day of eating looks like in the life of Alexi Bantel. So I just put on as many blueberries as kind of I wanted. It's 44 grams here, so I'm just going to make sure that I track that I put 44 grams on there. But I was not aiming for any specific uh, gram amount. The peanut butter, on the other hand, I didn't want to use a full serving. I did 20 grams instead of the 33, which is about 10 grams of fat versus the 16. So it just gives me a little bit more room for fat. Yeah, there it is. Simple, quick, effective. This is not my pre-workout meal. I am just going to eat this, get some stuff done, and then I'm gonna have a separate meal before I hit some legs today. So the next meal that I am going to be eating is just some chicken and potatoes. Really super simple, because your girl likes it simple. I like to stick with just like staples and things that I found throughout the years work best for me before I work out just because your pre-workout meal I feel like sometimes can make or break you. Like I have just found with my fitness pal that sometimes some of the stuff on there is wrong. Uh, I'm not looking at absolutely everything. I'm really just looking at the protein, fat, and carb because that's what I want to track and the calorie too. But as far as um, like fiber, sugar, and all the vitamins and minerals and stuff, like I don't look at that. My fitness pal is just annoying, but it's really like all I know how to use because it's all I've ever used. Just keep in mind that with me and tracking my food right now, I'm only looking at protein, fat, and carb. And I don't have any of my presets. So I think the preset in there for protein said, that I want 99 grams of protein today. I'm sorry, but that's not enough for me. I'm trying to shoot for at least my body weight a little bit more in protein. So like for me, I want to hit 150 grams of protein. Like that's kind of just like my goal because it's a little bit more than what I weigh. I don't even know what I weigh right now. I haven't weighed myself in a really long time, but I usually range like 130, 130 to 140, but I'm typically always like 135. So I'm shooting for 150 grams of protein today, so let's see if I can do it. Usually when I track my macros, it just makes me more conscious and more aware throughout the day what I'm eating and I can easily get my protein in, so. So my ketchup is not something that I typically track. Again, there's a lot of things that I don't track right now. If I was trying to be like really on point and specific with things, then I would. Bobby made these potatoes last night and I'm pretty sure that he put like oil or something on them, which again, right now, it's not something that's important to me to like really be tracking. So yeah, just keep that in mind that if you're trying to be really, really specific and really get a good idea of the things that you're eating, you wanna kind of track those things. But I'm not, I'm just constant, consciously tracking them in my head just because like, I don't know. I know it's there, but I'm not gonna track it because I'm not being that specific with stuff right now, so. Yeah, another thing I don't track 
is sodium. So, like, I don't care about seasonings on my chicken. And I don't care about salt on my chicken. Just because, again, it's something that I'm conscious and aware of on a regular basis. Salt is not something that I typically eat in excess or need to be tracking because I'm eating too much of it. Again, if I was tracking things more closely, maybe that's something that I would want to look at or just focus more cutting out of my diet. But I don't know. I don't have anything against salt. I don't eat a very high sodium diet so I don't think that it's something for any health purposes that I need to focus on or you know really focus on fixing or whatnot or tracking like I just eat salt consciously and I don't eat it in excess I eat it in moderation and that's yeah pretty much it all right so I'm gonna eat this uh, it's like the Kodiak pancakes that I make all the time they make a brownie mix I'm gonna eat this the macros are not 100% because I replaced a couple things, but I think they pretty much leveled out. So I'm just kind of gonna guesstimate to the best of my ability. Again, I think I'm pretty good at guesstimating because I have tracked my macros for such a long time and, you know, I just, I'm very aware of these things. So I think I'm pretty good at guesstimating. I would give them an 8 out of 10. Maybe a 9. It's pretty good. But I think they're good because. I added like peanut butter to it, so. Mmm, mm hmm. Really good. I used to drink this pre workout all the time. Dr. Jekyll. I just like the pump that it gives me. Um, and I feel like having a pump today. I'm doing legs. What a surprise. I feel like every time I talk to you, I'm doing legs. I swear, I do other things. I only train legs once a week. If you want to see upper body workouts, please let me know. If you have something specific you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. I train individual body parts. So like, if you want to see a full upper body workout, I can totally make something and record it and share it. If you want to just see what I do and there's a specific body part you want to see, let me know in the comments down below so I know to make a video for say like shoulders or uh, back or chest or arms. Yeah, I'm gonna drink my pre-workout and hit the gym. And I'll check back in with you after I do my workout so that I can show you what I eat post-workout. Okay, I just got back from the gym and now I am going to have my little post-workout meal. If this is not your first time here on my channel, then these two things probably look familiar to you. This is just a different flavor of rice cake, but these are my favorite rice cakes like ever. Um, and then this is just a protein that I use on a regular basis double chocolate. I put this pumpkin butter on top of the rice cake that I have. The macros are, we got 35 calories, 0 grams of fat, 9 carbs in one tablespoon. So I put one tablespoon on my rice cake. I'm just going to drink my protein shake. I did two scoops of that and I'm gonna eat my rice cake, and then I'm gonna be good probably until dinner time, definitely for show. Sure. I'll show you what I have for dinner later on in a couple of hours. This is the Kodiak Cakes brownie mix that I used to make brownies last night, and I was like, wow. There's only 2.5 grams of fat. I don't know why I even thought that was possible. Like, I don't know what my brain was doing, um, but I just realized that that says dry mix. So that doesn't even include everything that I put in it. When I put it on my fitness pal, cause I put on my fitness pal and it said 230 calories, 13 grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs and um, 8 grams of proteins. A little disappointed because I was excited about that. So I just put that in my fitness pal and that, you know, just was not what I was expecting, but not that big of a deal. Honestly, like, I'm tired of playing the whole number game with macros because I get stressed out about my food when I track it. Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, obviously they're way better than normal brownies. 
anyways, so I don't feel so bad, but yeah. Not what I expected, not what I wanted to know, not what I wanted to find out. Whatever, Kodiak Cakes. You disappointed me! Alright, so it's gonna be a little bit before I have dinner, and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have some hummus and some pretzel crisps. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed another full day of eating with me. Next video, I will be posting the Vegas Chronicles. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to see more fitness and positivity. Link is in the description box down below. And until next time, I will see you next Monday. Bye.